Monday, new week and new blessings. So guys, I just want to come in and talk a little bit more about ASD, which is Autism Spectrum Disorder. I touched on it last week about a lot of children that are being diagnosed with autism and how wide the spectrum is because when they say spectrum, it's really broad and they're on a spectrum because they are still learning about this disorder and there are so many different signs and for each person or each child the sign is the signs are different so that's why i say they're still learning they're still trying to figure out exactly um what entails this disorder so guys signs and symptoms of autism spectrum disorder most kids will have delayed language skills, delayed movement skills, delayed cognitive or learning skills, hyperactive, impulsive, and or inactive behavior, epilepsy or seizures. What are three main characteristics of autism? One thing is every individual is different However, there are primary characteristics that are associated with ASD. The primary characteristics are poorly developed social skills, difficulty with expressive and receptive communication, and the presence of restrictive and repetitive behaviors. So guys, and then you also have some children that do not speak they 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 don't they're not able to um communicate with you they're um they're not they don't speak so this is a broad um autism is a broad spectrum so this is the reason why i wanted to talk about it because it's so many kids that are being diagnosed with the autism spectrum and also guys you cannot diagnose your child as having autism spectrum. A lot of these um, mental illnesses have to be, um, it requires a medical diagnosis because the range and severity of symptoms can vary widely, as I was just telling you. Common symptoms include difficulty with communication, difficulty with social interact interactions, obsessive interest, and repetitive behavior. People may experience behavior inappropriate social interaction, poor eye contact, compulsive behavior, impulsive, repetitive movement, self-harm, or persistent repetition of words or action. Developmental learning disabilities of speech delay, delay any child. Cognitive intense interest in a limited number of things or problems paying attention. Psychological, which means unaware of others' emotions or depression. Also common, anxiety, change in voice, sensitivity to sound or tics. So guys, the autism spectrum is very wide and broad. So um, that's why you have to have a diagnosis from a doctor. I'm not a nurse, I'm not a psychiatrist, I'm not a therapist. I'm just a young lady that comes on and talk about these things so that we can get the necessary tools if we have a child or a adolescent child or even autism is in adults too. There are adults who have autism too. So guys, the best thing you can we can do is simply supporting those in our life can help to spread the message of acceptance and awareness. You should think before you criticize. You never know when it might affect you. So guys, I want you to have a great, great Monday. Enjoy your day and just um, be aware because it's that time of the year where we're gonna be out and people are gonna have their children out and you may see some different actions and you may smile at them. They may not smile back because they're on the autism spectrum. And just being mindful of others that this time of the year, guys, is very, very important. So, guys, I want you to um, make sure you're having a great day. Take some time out to love on yourself. Take some time out to be about yourself. 
and just remember others as we're out in the community this time of year. So guys, I will see you in the next one and have a great one. Bye-bye. Thank you.